Hi everyone, my name is Bruce Swartz. I'm in Montreal, Quebec. I'm a researcher. I became inspired with what was on the moon by a few silly captures, or should I say simple captures, at the beginning with the camera. Remember, um, hi everyone, remember the before last videos, my good friends? Uh, beside Copernicus Crater, we saw the surface area about uh, the east side of Copernicus. This is what we're looking at. We're going to go look in great detail. You guys remember Bianchini Crater? Well, here's again, finally, which is really not easy. We're seeing the surface structures. Now look at the lines, whatever they may be, running side by side. Now I could run a whole lot of scenarios through your head. It looks like a dam. It looks like this to try to convince you. But aside from the convincing, look at quite simply the features and the way the objects on the surface are aligned or that follow each other. And look at what they're running off to. In reality, you're looking at a city-like area. And when I say city-like, it's that there's, there are so many objects on the surface side by side. And if you look carefully, sometimes you can count up to, and I'm not exaggerating, seven or eight um, objects side by side with lines running to and from, from them. So we just saw this in the image but now we're zoomed up, a line at the end of the arrow that's actually crossing over this massive long pipeline or just straight anomaly that's on the surface. But look over to the left. Very intriguing, again, the hidden way they, uh, sorry, the, uh, the way they hide the structures on the surface. Absolutely amazing. Now, keep in mind, we're just beside Copernicus Crater here. We're still beside Copernicus Crater. I would say 30 kilometers, not miles, 30 kilometers. So the crater's right there. And literal inversion. Happy to say people want to see it clearer than that. Well, I'm not saying that I'm going to get clearer than that, but I'm saying, look, for the first time for me, what I wanted to see was the actual topography. And that's exactly what we're looking at. So we're able to see everything on the surface. Not the details of it, but we're able to see the emplacement of things. So, for example, if you want to verify the surface to see if there's any constructed uh, objects, I'm telling you, there are. And when you look at objects side by side with lines going to and from them, and you analyze these areas, you can really see that they're like industrial setups, if you want mining setups. And I'm not just shooting that out there. You can even compare to some setups here on Earth and look at some images by viewing it um, several times the moon in different areas. Look, it's, it, they're all hidden. Once you really understand the surface, you say that's how they're hiding everything under the hazes. And why would there be fire on the surface? This is, is yeah, no, it's not over the moon. It's on the moon. We're pressed up. I'm going to back out. I'll show you guys where we are. There it is. So I'm zoomed up. That object on the right is slow motion, a UFO on the surface but to the left i mean i'm yeah exactly if that's what you just said out loud could it be a scout craft i mean what do you want it to be right it's something that's operating it it's not just you know you could see like the tail end of the fire this one incredible light lights up on the surface lights up two other areas disappears appears in the center teleportation something you know or it's a light system so we're seeing all these patterns and other lights. There's other events and other series of events of lights on the surface that I've shown you, both uh, in formation, UFOs flying by, and even like these mysterious lights. Now, here's the thing. It doesn't look like an explosion, nor does this one look, well, it's in slow motion, but look at the shape. It has a shape, and it's lighting up. It's moving on the surface, and then it's going to light, uh, sorry, to go out. And you see, again, that little black spot beside it, which is, don't forget, what tells me that they are UFOs because that's um, some of the traits that the UFOs have that I'm seeing with my telescope. And again, these squares underneath a haze.